It's the dilemma we all go through. Do I spend more and buy a new boat or pay less money but deal with the hassles of more maintenance, repairs and upkeep? Are the savings in buying a pre-owned catamaran justified? What about depreciation and the question of which catamarans hold their value best? In today's episode, we will discuss if it is better to purchase new or used and look at the pros and cons of each scenario. Hi, my name is Gregor Tarjan. My company Aeroyard is recognized to market mostly new catamarans. Because of our international reach, we are especially known to sell pre-owned multi-hulls that US-based brokerage houses don't list. Most of you will probably appreciate some of the obvious advantages of buying a new versus pre-owned cat, but in this video, I will try to uncover some of the more lesser known truths. Let's first look at the advantages of buying a pre-owned multi-hull. Think about it for a moment. Just as in the automobile world, there are more used cars sold than new ones. In fact, the statistic is about 2.5 to 1, meaning for every 2.5 used cars, a new one is sold. The multi-hull world is not much different, and I would estimate the number to be more like 5 used versus new catamarans sold worldwide. Easily, the number one reason for these ratios favoring used boats is the fact that pre-owned multi-hulls is an initial cheaper investment. Be careful, however, what could look like a great bargain can sometimes cost you more money and headache than if you laid out more cash initially. For example, let's take a four-year-old catamaran which could save you, say, 20% over a new one. It is well equipped but also well used. She might have come out of the charter service and her sails need replacing. The engines and the generator have above average use and many systems need upgrading. Depending on your level of handiness, you are now up against the task of a major refit which could easily cost more than the initial savings. Financing a new catamaran, especially a foreign built one from a lesser known manufacturer, can be a challenge we can offer very attractive packages for our production multi-hulls that can equal the best rates for pre-owned catamarans. In general, however, you will have an easier time scoring a workable financing arrangement for a boat that has already been built and is lying in the US. Another advantage of a used boat is also the amount of her onboard equipment. Systems and options have already been selected by the previous owner and often less cruising equipment such as water makers, dinghies or spare anchors need to be added for cruising than on a new boat. These are additional expenses you can save yourself if you are buying used. Lastly, a pre-owned catamaran which is lying stateside or even in the Caribbean is already close to most of the buyers and often even imported and US customs paid. This saves hassles of travel, the complexity of foreign survey logistics, deliveries and the 1.6% customs import duty. In many cases, the previous owner of the boat is present in the negotiations and handover stages of the deal, which puts buyers at ease as they receive first-hand information and even training about their prospective purchase directly from the owner. In summary, a pre-owned boat will have an initially lower investment, often be better equipped with cruising gear, will let you stretch your cash outlay over a longer period of time and simplify the financing and purchase process. Now, let's look at the advantages of buying a new catamaran. Of course, you get that fresh boat smell, priceless. No, seriously, a new multi-hull will be just that, the newest design and technology equipped with the most up-to-date systems and state-of-the-art electronics and sailing features. For many, this fact alone makes buying new the only option. What many brokers don't tell you is that used boats have absolutely no warranty. As soon as you write that check for a pre-owned catamaran, you are on your own. A factory new boat will provide you usually with a one or two year bow to stern warranty and a five year structural guarantee. With an investment of such a large magnitude and considering the complexity of a catamaran structure, having a bumper-to-bumper -bumper warranty makes a lot of sense. 
In my mind, it's like an insurance agreement. Yes, it costs a premium, but the benefit far outweighs the drawback. Of course, a new boat will also give you a better ownership experience. There is more enjoyment in sailing a sparkling clean, perfectly working sailing machine than bending over in the head and having to replace toilet hoses or extract a rusty bolt from a broken air conditioner housing. Believe me, I have done my share of boat fixing and I'd rather be sailing. Also, a new boat can be ordered with exactly the systems that you want or that a manufacturer offers in their often very comprehensive option list. No more, no less. I often get the question, how much do I need to calculate for maintenance? A new boat needs very little compared to a new one. If I would have to spend, say, $5,000 annually for repairs or fixes for a new boat, you could easily multiply that number by five for used catamaran. So, in conclusion, new versus used will remain a contested topic for many. In the world of cars, buying used makes much more sense because there are fewer auxiliary systems that burden an automobile versus a yacht. It's the secondary items and systems that go bad and which cost a fortune to maintain and replace. Yacht systems are highly complex and the larger a cat is, the more can be stuffed into its volume, the more is expected by the owners and the more can go wrong. Have you ever compared prices at buying an item at your local hardware store and that same item at a marina? It can often be quadruple the cost. Add to that the scarcity of qualified repair labor and the astronomically high hourly wages and it is a perfect recipe for eliminating any initial benefits of a lower initial investment of a used boat purchase. This is one of the reasons that I suggest that one weighs the question new versus used very carefully, especially when looking into larger plus 45 foot multi-hulls. I'm here to assist you and give you my advice whichever direction you are considering. At the end of the day, my suggestion is to go out and do it. Get a smaller boat, modify your spending or adjust your budget, but don't delay indefinitely and go cruising sooner rather than later. You never know what tomorrow brings. I hope that this episode offered some new insights and that you got some enjoyment of watching. A lot more information is in my books on catamarans and you can purchase them via Amazon and eBooks. If you want to follow more episodes of our mini-series as they become available, please make sure to subscribe to our Aero Yacht channel so you don't miss any. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the water in a catamaran.